to your COVID-19 questions. We're gonna check back in with Dr. Frank Levecchio. All right, doctor, our first viewer question comes in from Larry in Mesa. He says, I tested positive. My wife tested negative. How? We're both in our late 70s. He had the saliva test. She did the nasal swab. Neither of us have any symptoms. Larry also wants to know if he can ride his bike safely during quarantine in a low populated area. So absolutely. And riding your bike is encouraged. You know, getting out, exercising uh, is almost always a good thing. I think the risk of you catching it or giving to somebody while you're riding your bike or driving by them, you know, approaches zero. Um, even if you're walking by them, you know, the key is not to breathe their air, as we say. But as far as you being positive and your wife not, not, I think that goes to the sensitivities of the tests. In other words, about one in three people that get these rapid tests are false negatives. They go home thinking that they're negative, where in reality they're positive. So I would assume that both of you are positive and I would quarantine or stay away from people for at least 10 days after that positive test. All right, that was a good question. Our second question this half hour, Kristen in Phoenix is asking, what happens if you get COVID after getting the first round of the vaccine? Uh, good question, and that can happen. And even people in the study who got both doses actually sometimes developed uh, COVID-19. They tested positive. The chances are very, very low. Um, after you got the first dose, um, about... 56% um, of people tested positive compared to the other group. So the other group was much higher, but the short answer is you still go on and get the, the vaccine. You still go on and get the second dose. If we look at after both doses and the groups, there were 22,000 people, 162 tested positive in the, in the placebo arm, the ones that got nothing, and eight tested positive in the people who got two doses. So it still can occur, but extremely low rate. And that's where the 95% efficacy comes from. To answer your question, you know, if you get it, the recommendation now is to still get the second dose. All right, well, our third viewer question comes in from Angie in Peoria, and she's asking, someone who has Guillain-Barre syndrome cannot get the flu vaccination. So then are they able to get the COVID-19 vaccine? You know, if you had Guillain-Barre or have it, you know, it's recommended that you still do get COVID-19 vaccination. Uh, there's no contraindication with regard to that. And it's up to you and your doctor when you talk about flu vaccinations. In 1976, there was this maybe a contaminant. We still don't know exactly, but people got Guillain-Barre probably from the flu vaccine in 1976. And unfortunately, that has gone on forever that people talk about that. Mm -hmm. It's extremely uncommon. In fact, pe people have shown, studies have shown that after you get the flu, you're more likely to get Guillain-Barre than if you get the flu shot. So it's still recommended. I would not consider, you know, giving by a contraindication to getting the flu shot personally. And I, I would warn people against that thinking and just kind of, you know, still get the flu shot. It's very, very important, especially this year. Facts, not fear. Dr. Lavecchio with us all morning long. We appreciate all the knowledge you're bringing to our show and to our viewers here. Text us your questions, 602-444-1212. We're gonna get Thank back you. to you here in just a little bit with some more of those questions. Thanks, doctor. And with new information coming out every day, we know it can be tough to keep up with everything. You can find the latest details about COVID, how it's affecting Arizona on the 12 News app.